Friday weekly love reading from May 1st with the 15th, 2018. Just want to let you guys know that I have some construction going on in my apartment today. So I do apologize in advance for any sounds in the background, but I do need to get your reading out. So thank you for your patience while I do that. Um, for your reading today, I'm using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck for your mini Lenormand reading at the beginning. I'll be using the Charmin Gazelle Tarot deck as my primary tarot deck, and then we're going to clarify some cards with the Jacoli Tarot Mint. So if that sounds good, let's get started with your oh, reading. Sagittarius. Uh, I drew the Lady and the Owl. So I'm either seeing two women here of importance in your life, or it could be a woman that has two children. I'm seeing this woman as being as very outgoing. Um, she's very communicative, or this is a woman that I'm reading for that has two children. Um, yeah, the owls um, could also indicate that um, you may, if you do have two children, they may be very chatty. They could be very communicative with each other, but maybe not in the maybe not in the best way. Um, they could maybe be like too chattery <laughs> I don't know. that's kind of what I'm seeing or there's a woman here that has two children that's of significance to you this could be you because normally this is a significator here um, I'm just seeing lots of communication you could be very communicative over the next two weeks which is good uh, especially if you're in a communications field but uh, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Um, hopefully this is helpful to you in some way, but um, that's the message that I have for you. All right, last but not least, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Now I am going in order of views from last month, so I do apologize, you guys are going last. But that is a situation, that is a situation. Let me turn the volume off on that. Spirit, what are the bite of love? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Y'all are feeling it. Um, this can be upsurgence of emotions, new love, new feelings. Um, it's a divine gift coming to you. It could be uh, you healing yourself in some way um, through just uh, you know getting all the emotions up, getting them out. It's like your heart chakra opening. Really beautiful energy. I do see love in the cards for you this month over the next two weeks. Let's see if that card comes out in your reading. Spirit order the bi-weekly love messages and energies for Sagittarius from today, May 4th through the 15th. What do they need to know regarding their love lives from May 4th through the 15th? For all Sag, suns, moons, risings, Sag is on the cusp, and also if you have your Venus in Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Right forward through the 15th, please. What do they need to know regarding their love lives from May 4th through the 15th? Okay, we're going to look at your current situation. What is a challenge for you? What has put you here? What you may be thinking or feeling? your recent past and your near future. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. I do see love in the cards for you, maybe with a Pisces. Um, something you've been waiting for is coming to fruition. Soulmate, <coughs> soulmate energy. We have the Emperor in reverse, could be dealing with an Aries here. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands coming up in reverse. That would be likely your energy. What has put you here is the Three of Wands. Your thoughts and feelings are the Ten of Cups. Wow. Your recent past is the Here font, and your near future is the Queen of Wands in reverse. And so we have your energy coming up as the Emperor in reverse. Now this could also be an Aries or a Leo. Um, characteristics of the Emperor in Reverse, he has he feels powerless, so he can come off as very controlling. This can all be, also be someone that exhibits um, poor leadership abilities. They may not be stepping fully into their leadership role as like a father figure or a patriarch. This can also be someone that has uh, lost control 
It feels chaotic. It feels like there's no rules and boundaries being respected here. Um, in which case this person can be abusive verbally. They can be like a tyrant. Um, uh, someone that feels like they've been um, thrown out of the power seat here. Your challenge is like another uh, fire sign, or this can be your energy, coming up in reverse, impatient, reckless. Um, this can also be some delays in receiving positive news. Uh, this can be someone who comes in and out of your life really fast. If this is your energy, this person is a major player. They do not have control over their emotions. I'm also seeing someone here who's very angry, very upset. Uh, if that's not the case, then you're dealing with just an Aries or a Sagittarius here. But I do feel like this is, in the challenge position, it's like to express your positive feelings, to express your passion, to be adventurous. Something here is being subdued, repressed, is making things very temperamental. What has put you here is the Three of Wands, so there has been growth and progress. I feel like your ships were coming in. Uh, you may have been waiting uh, to hear back from someone. There may be delayed news. I'm also seeing here that there's been growth in matters of the heart, you know. In the past, you have the Hierophant, so I see commitment, marriage, conforming in some way. This can also be a job contract of importance, but I'm seeing here also wanting to do the right thing, being very conscientious, wanting like a very stable, very traditional relationship. Maybe this could be someone who's married as well. This is also the card of the teacher. Uh, so it begs the question of who or what has been your teacher. Maybe you've been able to teach someone a lesson here in the past. It's like kind of saying doing things by the book. In terms of your thoughts and feelings, you have the Ten of Cups, so I see feeling very happy, very secure. Like I'm also seeing someone that has children, a family, um, thinking about this kind of situation. It's the most happiness. Um, but you still could be dealing with someone here who has temper issues, uh, out of control, like an Aries here or some other fire sign. I do sense that, you know, you are going to be feeling really happy over the next two weeks. And then we have uh, your card coming up in the future here. So I'm going to want to clarify that. The Queen of Wands in reverse, though, can be someone who is a bit of a wallflower. She may have had a fall from grace. This can be someone who's catty, mean, or dramatic. Um, her natural fire sign qualities, her natural elements could be subdued here or blocked. Um, or if uh, this can just be your energy with uh, coming up here. So let's clarify a couple of these things here, uh, a couple of these cards. I want to know why the Emperor is coming up reversed in your current situation. Why is the Emperor coming up reversed? Now this can be your energy or the person you're dealing with. Hmm. Sideways. Four of Wands, Ten of Wands. Uh, there can be some disruptions around the home. This can also be a private celebration going on. Some may have left the home for more freedom, but I'm seeing here that like this has to do with bringing the f home and family under stability, under one roof. Ton of wands, someone could be just overburdened with work, duties, and responsibilities, and obligations, and this is um, creating some kind of chaos here. Two of pentacles. You may be, either you're juggling or the person that you're dealing with, like the fire, another fire sign is juggling or is on the fence about something. They're kind of mm, trying to balance a situation out. Um, but they have a lot to manage, so there could be travel back and forth, etc. Why is the Knight of Wands coming up reversed in the challenge position? We have the Empress. This is definitely Aries is energy. Aries, Taurus, Libra. You could be dealing with any of those. We also have the Mother card here. Someone could be dealing with a pregnancy, a birth. We have the Ace of Wands, so this is new passionate beginning. Uh, lots of passion here and excitement. 
and the nine of wands is persevering so this person uh, is biding their time they do want to stay the course um, there is something here that is not being addressed however we have kind of like I call it the elephant in the room but it does seem like you could be dealing with someone who's very nurturing very creative or this could be your energy in which case I feel like y'all are putting in a lot of hard work here and you are it's possible um, feeling very creative but also very burdened at this time let's see why is the queen of wands coming up reversed in the future four of pentacles stability being cautious also playing cards close to your chest maybe not wanting to open up being um, saving their money why is the queen of wands coming up reversed in the future for sagittarius why is the queen of wands up reversed in the future for Sagittarius. I just feel like there's <clears throat> some kind of chaotic energy going on right now for you. Ace of Pentacles, a healthy new beginning, an offer, a new start. This could be a new job as well beginning for you. This is one of the most positive readings that we've had, uh, that I've had um, so far. Why is the Queen of Wands? It's also money coming in, I'm saying. You're going to be getting paid. Sagittarius, why is the Queen of Wands coming up reversed in the future? Ooh, Three of Swords. Something here. Necessary sacrifice, some kind of a heartbreak. It could also be that you're feeling you have to take space from your partner. You may be separating. Someone feels trapped stuck in the head, stuck in your head, fearful. Hmm. I feel like this is your energy. You've been feeling burdened. You've been feeling like there's been a lot of disruptions around the home. You've been trying to manage it on your own. You may be dealing with another fire sign or someone that has uh, like like an Aries or a Taurus or a Libra here this person this person has like a serious crush on you and they've been they're open to love with you in fact I think that you guys do want this to work out um, they may be holding back a little bit or feel wounded from something um, for some reason, I do feel like you're feeling heartbroken about it, something here in the future. Um, you're not like opening up very much, and I think you're trying to stay grounded. There is a little bit of, with the Eight of Swords here, of feeling trapped or stuck in your own head. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, which is fantastic. This is really good. We have the Hangman, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, Reverse your card in reverse in the seven of pentacles with the wheel of fortune and the world let me take a look all of these are really fantastic Two of Pentacles again. If you're dealing with an earth sign or someone that has earth sign in their chart, this person is having issues with their finances and they may also be neglectful, materialistic, or two-timing. Man or woman, this is causing issues with healing, issues with balance, one extreme to the next here. Again, the Two of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a water sign, like a Pisces, someone here is struggling. Someone here is struggling. It's possible that you, I really feel like this is your energy coming up in the future. Um, You may be opting for um, 
something here has gotten very burdensome for you is what I'm feeling. Very burdensome. And um, you do have this soulmate connection with this person though. You have this really wonderful connection. I just think that you're not sure yet. You want to stay grounded and you are feeling heartbroken about something here is what I'm seeing. Or need to take space. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The sun. This is going in a good direction. I, I, I feel like you, I think your things will get better for you. Um, give it time, but um, Sagittarius, this is what I'm seeing for you. Thank you for watching and take good care of yourselves.